Good morning. 619-2001, 620, the markets are going to be open and we're going to be taking a look at the weekly chart on Amazon. The 10-week moving average, it undercut it. The 10-week moving average, the blue line is resistance with that red line at the 20-week holding that at support with a five-week reversal with the broader markets to the neckline that's going straight across where resistance was in late 2010. This is a correction that we had sold short and we came down and we put in the all-time highs based on our Amazon.com last quarterly earnings. We have quarterly earnings coming up in this July. We do know that GDP has contracted. That means that we would be taking a look at is Amazon.com fully taking advantage of the international money meaning buyers and sellers worldwide of products on their website versus U.S. people. And has there been a contraction potentially forward-looking in Amazon? That's that part of it. We're going to be taking a look here that these options is are a weekly for this trading week. Uh, next Friday, they'll expire on 624. Then the following monthly expiration of 716 are puts, calls, then you have different strike prices here put to call. And here are the strike prices, MMTs. Now, off of, the, off of this video, you'll learn how to trade them. Okay? And what you're going to find out is where these ranges are on both sides of calls and puts. We'll do that in a separate video. Right now, we're going to take a look at where Amazon is relative to its peers in the Internet and e-commerce area as well and the indexes that it falls in. I'm going to move this aside, and the weekly chart is that this neckline is going to be very important, and that the 20-week moving average are going to give the readings. It's all standard stuff now, MMTs. This is not using your platform. This is this stuff. The 20-week moving average, once again, 184.10. Once again, the upside resistance is 191.58. That's the blue line into the 20-week. If we break this line from where the standard people will be looking at is that that was going to be 171 down here. That's where this breakout occurred, right here. So it's important that you understand where the breakout happened and this line right here, this is in this area right here on the weekly, two weekly bars right here. And that's support one. That's going to be support two. And then when I kind of take this out right here this trend line if it'll let me delete that one and I'm going to go back over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a trend line right up here where this weekly consolidation was with that breakout in 2010 and how it made its highs pull back made the double top highs right in there which is also right below the 10 week moving average okay now MMT. You're going to get a very nice trade on Amazon, but Amazon is in by no stretch of the imagination oversold at 63.94%. We, when we were shorting Amazon up here, when it was up at 206, the percent DS was at 82.94%. And, you know, Amazon trades a little different than a lot of your other stocks, a, a tighter bid and ask intraday. However, MMTs, we are not oversold in the traditional uh, name of being oversold. You want to see something oversold, go look at the Google chart at 4.58% DS on a weekly. There's a lot of room to go down. However, if the broader markets, any up movement in Amazon, we're a short seller, and any up movement toward the 190 area, we're going to be a 190 put buyer, and any support area down toward the 180 on a drop down bid or 182 and a half, we would be the 180 call buyer. And I'm not going to give them prices out here. No, no, no. But I will let you yes, yes, yes as to what strike prices, how to trade them is another thing, and how to get the wholesale entry on both sides of the market is the key. That will be done off video. Okay? That will not be done on here. And the thing about it is, I'm bringing it to the people's awareness of my new MMTs on how to try trade 
a weekly option expiration which is now in the market versus the monthlies that just we just expired with the monthly and quarterly options expiration and we did so basically what I want people to understand here is how we're going to have the trade management long and short and amazon.com weekly chart um, when I go over here to show an Amazon.com daily chart, just very quickly, is that Amazon right here and now, MMTs, is that Amazon tested a key 100-day simple moving average. You better write that down. That's the public stuff. It got slightly below it. And that's that bottom trend line on a daily that made those highs. That's where this trend has got support here, and that's that up movement. And these are daily moving averages. So if I go up here, I'm going to draw a trend line right there. That's right below the 20-day. That's my upside resistance. That's that three-day pullback with the one-day boy wonder pop up off of that low of that 100-day simple moving average. However, you still remain in what we call a daily sell signal, MMTs. And that the shorter term percent DS hit a low peak of 15.88, traveled up to 20 point. Now, in short term, Amazon trades different, and these readings are different than they are in other names, listed stocks and other internet stocks. It has its own pattern that it does, and the pattern of it is is right here. This is where we were shorting it. You can go on our website, and you can find the truth out right here and now right here and now before the fact this date was on 513 this date up here would be when I get involved over here that's 511 and we continue to make the higher highs because Amazon strength is very strong but the major reversals came back in here MMTs let's draw it right here that's $200 right there that's where that reversal came down and you have upside three-day volatility but you made a lower low and then you went up and tested all the moving averages and we sold short right into that thing and we have come down and we're on that hundred day simple moving average let it be known MMT that on this trade that the 200 day simple moving average is at 175.42 that the hundred day simple moving average is at 183.21 that the daily sell signal on this MACD reading MMTs is minus 1.94 MACD. That's a public indicator that hedge fund managers, institutional traders, and people look at. And when it stops going down here, that's why you hold support here. This is not your SMF market maker platform where you're going to get your pricing and make decisions on. No. This is a standard public trading indicators that people have used for a number of decades but once again they all lag the move if we break below it we're going to be aggressive short sellers down to the 200 day and any up move into these key moving averages on a daily and a weekly we're going to be a net short seller into Amazon Amazon has not corrected with the broader market. It got a little bit short-term oversold now on your daily from that top reversal of 206 down here. So you had the 206. So let's get the number. Let's get the number. Right in here, MMT, 206.19. Swing low over here, 181.59. MMT, do the mathematical short. That's what we did. That's a big move down. About $26 going to the downside. Of course, it had great moves over here uh, from lower levels to that high as well. And the thing about it is, how do I get the bull side, but then how do I get this bear side? Then I can calculate the two together and I make a boatload of money. If that's what you're looking for, then you know you're at the right place or stick with what you got.